All right, Tony. Uh, spell your last name. It's uh, it's pronounced Palombella, and it uh, means Palomba is a dove. Bella means beautiful. P A L O M B E L L A. Good, because I misspelled it when I wrote it. Okay, three, two, one. Tony, we heard about your routine. We had to come out and see it. What is it? Entertainment? Information? It's both. It's uh, it's kind of a, a relief from uh, everyday stress, and I inject a little comedy and uh, and I'll. You got to look at me though. Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking over there, sir. Yeah, you're talking right to me. Okay. okay. Three. Three, two, one. Tony, we heard about your routine. Three, two, one. Tony, we heard about your routine. We had to come out and see it. What is it? Entertainment? Information? It's both. It's, it's a way to relieve stress. Uh, it's, uh, it's a way of uh, the tourists especially get a kick out of it. Relieve everyday stress. I inject humor, plus uh, a little facts about New York City, which are very unique. And uh, I did a little research in Barnes & Noble. I, uh, I took a ride to Central Avenue in Barnes & Noble, and I hung out there for about a couple of hours, and I took a, a couple of books. And uh, okay, I do... Right. We don't need to know about that. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let's, let's say three, two, one. How did it all get started? It started about eight, nine years ago when I was driving the tourist line, which is the sixth line that goes up 6th Avenue down Broadway. I used to pick up people from all over the world. I wanted to make them feel at home. I noticed they needed something, okay? They needed some sort of uh, uh, a home feeling of New York, and I wanted, them to, uh, I wanted to give them a good feeling about New York. So I started picking up the microphone, and uh, I started perfecting a repertoire of trivia and comedy, which took me a while, and I finally perfected it. What is it about your routine that uh, says New York? Okay, I give them uh, facts of what was invented in New York. I give them uh, the history of Canal Street, Central Park, Radio City, um, and little tidbits uh, 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 of New York City. Then I inject a little comedy, like I said, and uh, I make them feel good. I make them, because they stressed out, you know. And wh what do the people say when they exit your bus after this routine? They pat me on the back and they want to come back with their kids. You know, so they can learn a little bit about New York City. They meet me at the bus stop with their kids. And so uh, a lot of them pat me on the back and say they had the most wonderful ride they ever had. How does it make you feel being a bus driver? It was a pretty tough job. It feels like being on stage, like I said before. And uh, you get such a high. It's like performing on stage. And, uh, and uh, it's a public service job. It's a safety sensitive position. And you have to love people. To do what I do, I won't uh, advise to do to, for this to try anybody at home. Don't try this at home. You have to love people. You gotta look at me though. Okay. You have to love people. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. All right. Hold on. Let's do it again. Let's start again. Sorry. Let's do it again. You know, you may or may not be able to. Okay. Let's okay. Do it again. I'll look at you. Don't say I told you before. Okay. Don't say that. Okay. If just say whatever you say, just say it. Don't say I told you before. Okay. Because okay. we may not use the thing before, so they wouldn't know that you said that before. Okay. okay. In three, uh, in three, two, one. So, to uh, to audition for their clubs, <laughs> and uh, and uh, but I, I I got one job, so that's it. You know, maybe when I retire from this job, you know, I either become a tour guide, you know, or I'll do something else. What is it? What is it? I mean, obviously you like telling the stories. What? Okay, you right? Okay, go ahead. Jimmy. Three, two, one. Obviously, you must really love this job. It's not just the stories. What is it about people that you deal with that really, that you really love? I was always a, a, a people's person. I love to meet people. Okay, and uh, let's do it over again. Cause I want I want a good answer on that. Yeah. Um. You could do any job. You obviously are very talented. You could do any job. What keeps you coming back? Okay, and then just give me. Let me think. Wait. Just give me like a couple, like two, four, eight. Coming back to where? Coming mean? back to your job here at Transit. You could go be a stand-up comedian. You could go be whatever, a tour guide. You could go do anything you want. But you come back because you, you like the people. You like being in a bus. You like New York City. Okay. You like the vitality. You get a new crowd every day. I like. You like driving a bus, right? Yes, I do. You like. You like going across the city. I like you always meet new people. I like cruising. I like cruising the city with the bus. Yeah. Okay. You feel like you want a trolley car. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and uh, 
the bus is my horse. You love information, you like... I love information, I love talking to people. And that's it, okay. That's what I, want to do. I love talking to people, I, and I wouldn't give this job up for anything. Just to end it like that. Three, two, you're right, Chris? Yeah. Three, yeah! Three, two, one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. You could get any kind of job you want, but you keep coming back to transit every single day. What, why? Uh, I love to cruise the city. I love to meet people. And that's the only reason. I love talking to people. Okay, and, um, and, uh, and you get paid for it. It's a great job. I want you to say, okay. Okay, that was actually pretty good. You get paid for it. Uh, should we do? Okay. Three, two, one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. What keeps you coming back to transit every day? Well, um, when I get up in the morning, I can't wait to come to work because I get to cruise the city, get paid for it, and I love to talk to people. Obviously. And, uh, and, uh... I bet you wouldn't give it up for anything. No, not anything in the world, no. And it's got a great... <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. It's not easy doing this. I get to meet, uh... You're not an expert. You can meet a lot of people. Uh, that's okay. what I said. Cruise okay. the city, meet a lot of people. I won't give it up for the world. What, what, what else do uh, you want me to say? It's better than sex. No. no. I said that before. No, you didn't say that before. No, no. before I said it's, it's better than alcohol and having sex. Remember when I said that? No, but you always wasn't on tape. Oh, but we better not say that. We better not say that. Um, on the book I said Let's that. do this again. You ready? Yeah. Three. What is the last thing you want me to say? The last thing? I wouldn't give it up for the world. Okay. Okay? Three, two, one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. You can get any job you wanted, but you keep coming back to transit. Why? It's a great job. I can't wait to come to work every day. I meet people, I get to cruise the town, and I won't give it up for the world. Okay, let's do that one more time. But you know why? Because you said it before. You said, when I get up in the morning, I can't wait to come to work. All right, three, two, three, two, one. one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. You can get any job you want, but you keep coming back to transit. Why? When I get up in the morning, I can't wait to come to work. I get to meet people, talk to people, and I won't give it up for the world. You did good. You did very good. Okay. Um, three, two, one. So if I want to catch your act, what's a good time and what's a good place? Well, I drive from... Uh, what the hell did I ask you? <laughs> Remember what you said? Uh, how does it make you feel when you? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, three, two, one. How does it make you feel? Being a bus driver is a pretty tough job. Yes, it is, and uh, actually, uh, uh, you get to cruise the city and get paid for it, and uh, uh, you get a high on the bus. It's like performing on stage. Okay, and a lot of people pat me on the back, said they had the most wonderful ride they ever had. You must have met interesting people over the years with your uh, repertoire. I met people from all over the world. You name a country, I met them. And, and, uh, and you've, you've, um, three, two, one. And you've been recognized in the international press also. What are some of the things, pictures, and stories that you've had? Well, I was written up on the New York Times three times with pictures. Uh, last June, I was invited to the Smithsonian in Washington. They had a festival about New York City, and I had to represent the company. I also done two cooking shows uh, in the Smithsonian, you know, and uh, I'm trying to get a hold of those tapes. And uh, I was written up on the New York Observer, the Bronx Times, and I've done Japanese TV and three radio interviews, including Italian radio. Uh -huh. How was the Japanese TV thing go? It went pretty well. Uh, they filmed me on the bus, on my house, and it's so funny. Uh, uh, I speak in English. I'm talking in English on the bus, and 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 there's somebody in the background speaking Japanese, and uh, I still don't know what they're saying till this day. How did uh, what what led you to get interested in New York City facts? Uh, well, the kind of job that I do, it's like uh, you know when when they put a microphone on the bus, that that was it for me, you know. Uh, I figured uh, for the tourists, for the tourists, and a lot of uh, New Yorkers don't know the origin of the street names, for example, okay, they don't know the history of Canal Street, the history of Central Park, tidbits like that, that, uh, that uh, they find very amusing and very informative. Did you ever wonder if you weren't a bus driver? I mean, what would you have been? Well, I was stage struck when I was a kid, and, uh, and uh, I'm a <laughs> I was stage struck when I was a kid. I mean, show business was always my life. I remember Johnny Carson's show from the 60s and 70s, you know, and... Uh, okay, um, let's see. We don't want to go in, your, 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 um, your show is kind of interactive. Do you ever take requests? You ready? 
Okay. Am I still out of the scene there, good? Three, two, one. What you do is interactive. Do you ever take requests? Yes, I do. And a lot of people want to know uh, the street origins, you know, uh, any particular one. I tell them I look it up for them. And uh, I do audience participation, okay? And I do a little quiz on the bus. And I tell them the winner of each question will win a free bus map. So. <laughs> And, and what about the comedy? If you let people decide whether they want trivia or comedy. How do you decide what you do? Well, I, uh, I, it's, I take a vote. I take a vote on the bus and I ask them what they want. And usually I do both. Uh -huh. You know, uh, usually my best audience is on a Friday. I call a Monday audience, Tuesday and Wednesday sedated. I call them the sedated because they, they stress out at the beginning of the week. Uh -huh. And my best audience comes on a Friday. Well, what's your best show ever? My best show ever, I had many best shows. Many best shows, yeah, I had a lot of them. And they, you know, and they pat me on the back and it's great. Do you, uh, you get regulars that just come on the bus and stay on the bus for a while? Oh, I can't get them off my back. They come on my bus, I'm so glad I seen you. Where have you been? You know, and uh, they bring their kids on the bus and uh, uh, sometimes they're like leeches. I can't get them off. How did it feel to represent New York City Transit down at the Smithsonian? Oh, that was a great experience. Uh, it was 90 degrees uh, in Washington in June, last June. Uh, the festival was done at the mall. They had a, a hybrid bus parked at the mall. And uh, we had one million visitors uh, for the whole two weeks of the festival. What exactly did you do there? I, I, I had to sit behind the wheel of the park hybrid bus, and I had to explain uh, to visitors how a hybrid bus works. And also, you didn't I didn't get to do your shtick. I did. I, I uh, finally they opened up my mic. The mic was closed. They opened it up, and uh, and uh, I did a few shticks for people, and they enjoyed it. Could other bus drivers do the same thing? They can, but uh, I cautioned them that uh, <laughs> do not try this at home. You know, uh, they can do the same thing. I think I revolutionized bus driving. I took the boredom out of bus driving. And also, I want to say that uh, driving a bus in New York City is like being in a library with so many minds you can exchange information with. Uh, some people actually try to correct me, but I tell them, do not try, I'm the trivia guy. And uh, actually, I, uh, I straighten them out. You know, for example, like the Duke of York, you know, I told him what his name was. His name was James Stewart. Nobody knows about this. So, uh, uh, but some people uh, did correct me, and uh, I adjusted my trivia according to the correction. So you've been at Transit for 19 years. Yes. Would this keep you coming back? I uh, can't wait till I go to work every, uh, every day. I mean, uh, it's, it's the best job I ever had, and I recommend it to, uh, to anybody. So when you bring the bus in, it's like the curtain going down? The curtain's going down, and then I get depressed, yes, because the show is over. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Okay. What else do you think? Uh, no one was, no one knew what you were doing. So I was like, when you started. Yeah, when I started it. Let's uh, just say, stay right there, stay right there. Yeah. Okay, is that good? Yeah. Okay. Remember, look at me. Sure. In three, two, one. Obviously, it took you a while to perfect your act. What happened the first day you tried it? The first day I tried it actually was in the 80s. It was in the Bronx. I drove eight years in the Bronx, and uh, I tell you, I live in the Bronx. You know, in a very nice neighborhood. Uh, but you couldn't do what I do in the Bronx and get away with it. More tougher crowd in the Bronx, okay? <laughs> and I tried to do it in the Bronx, and uh, one guy yelled out, hey, shut up, driver, J just drive this damn bus. <laughs> and uh, when I came to Manhattan in 1992, uh, a whole different ball game. They're well-to-do people, well-read people. Uh, this is a working town. People come from all over the country here for one thing only, uh, not to raise a family, but to, uh, to look for work. This is a working town, and uh, people are more educated over here. And uh, they, uh, they can appreciate me a little more. Do you change your performance uh, with the seasons? Uh, I try to add a few things here and there, yes. I try to add a few things, yes. Uh, it, it's tough, you know, to think of something new to say, you know. Okay. Um. Okay, wait, let me think of something. Uh, oh, ask me, uh, did, 
because I've got numbers to play clubs and st things like that. Maybe you can ask numbers me, to uh, play clubs. What do you mean? Only you know, I got on the bus. Somebody comes over and gives me a number. Call me. I oh, okay. Three, two, one. So you must have had some unusual reactions from people, the customers over the years. Yes, I did. They pat me on the back, and uh, I've gotten a couple of agents give me their cards, and uh, uh, several people gave me numbers to uh, to audition for their clubs. <laughs> and uh, and uh, but I, I I got one job, so that's it. You know, maybe when I retire from this job, you know, I either become a tour guide, you know, or I do something else. What is it? What is it? I mean, obviously you like telling the stories. But what? Okay, you right. Okay, go ahead, Danny. Three, two. One. Obviously, you must really love this job. It's not just the stories. What is it about people that you deal with that, really, that you really love? I was always a, uh, a people's person. I love to meet people, okay? And... Uh... Let's do it over again, because I, I want a good answer on that. Yeah. Um, you could do any job. You obviously are very talented. You could do any job. What keeps you coming back? Okay, and then just give me. Let me think. Wait. Just give me like a couple, like three, four. Eight. Coming back to where? What do you mean? Back to your job, your transit. You could go be a stand-up comedian. You could go be whatever, a tour guide. You could go do anything you want. But you come back because you, you like the people. You like being in the bus. You like New York City. Okay. You like the vitality. You get a new crowd every day. I like. You like driving the bus, right? Yes, I do. You like you like going across the city. I like you always cruising. meet new people. I like cruising. I like cruising the city with the bus. Yeah. Okay. You feel like you want a trolley car. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and uh, the bus is my horse. You love information. You like. I giving... love information. I love talking to people. And that's it. Okay. That's what you want to do. I love talking to people. I, and I wouldn't give this job up for anything. Just to end it like that. Three, two. You're right, Chris. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three, two, one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. You could get any kind of job you want, but you could come back to transit every single day. What? Why? Uh, I love to cruise the city. I love to meet people. And that's the only reason. I love talking to people, okay? And, um, and, uh, and you get paid for it. It's a great job. I want you to say, okay. Okay, that was actually pretty good. You get paid for it. Uh, should we do okay. Three, two, one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. What keeps you coming back to transit every day? Well, um, when I get up in the morning, I can't wait to come to work because I get to cruise the city, get paid for it, and I love to talk to people. Obviously. And, uh, and, uh... I bet you wouldn't give it up for anything. No, not anything in the world, no. And it's got a great... <laughs> no. All right. It's not easy doing this. I get to meet, uh... I'm not an expert. You meet a lot of people. Uh, get, that's okay. what I said. Cruise okay. the city, meet a lot of people, I won't give it up for the world. What, what, what else do uh, you want me to be saying? It's better than sex. No. no. I said that before. No, you didn't say that before. No, no. before I said it's, it's better than alcohol and having sex. Remember when I said that? No, but you always wasn't on tape. Oh, but we better not say that. We better not say that. Um, on the book, I say Let's that. do this again. You ready? Yeah. Three. Well, what is the last thing you want me to say? The last thing. I wouldn't give it up for the world. Okay. Okay? Three, two, one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. You can get any job you wanted, but you keep coming back to transit. Why? It's a great job. I can't wait to come to work every day. I meet people. I get to cruise the town, and I won't give it up for the world. Okay, let's do that one more time. But you know why? Because you said it before. You said, when I get up in the morning, I can't wait to come to work. All right? Three, two, three, two, one. one. Tony, you're obviously very talented. You could get any job you want, but you keep coming back to transit. Why? When I get up in the morning, I can't wait to come to work. I get to meet people, talk to people, and I won't give it up for the world. You did good. You did very good. Okay. Um, three, two, one. So if I want to catch your act, what's a good time and what's a good place? Well, I drive from uh, 3.30 to 12. And uh, I'm presently on the M96 Crosstown bus. Okay, we got to do that real quick. Say, uh, I, I work the afternoon shift. I'm on the M96, so that's 96th Street. Mm -hmm. But I usually like to perform to a packed house. So okay. across town, about Fifth Avenue, she's getting ready, and I'm ready to go. Okay, okay. You ready? Wait, 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 wait. Uh... <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Three, two, one. So if I wanted to catch you, where do I catch you? Wait, wait. Three, two, one. So if I wanted to see you, where can I catch you?
I like to work the afternoon shift from 3.30 to 12. I'm presently on M96, and I like to play to a full house. And where's the full house? Full house is on a bus. No, but you got to tell me, like, when you're going across town, you don't start right at... I start at Central Park. You don't start at... Uh, well, let's just, we have to just let people have an idea. Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about time there. All right. Say it a little less formally, okay? I work the afternoon shift on the M96. So you'll find me on 96th Street. I like to play to a full house. I'm usually pulled by about Central Park West, and that's where she kicks off. Well, that's oh boy, the curtain right. goes up. Something like that. I mean, you know, okay. the curtain's going to go up, right? Why does the curtain go up? OK, I'll just, I'll just ask you that. Three, two, one. Tony, everybody's wanting to know where you're appearing. Where are you appearing? <laughs> where are you appearing? Three, two, one. Everybody wants to know, where are you appearing? Well, I like to work the afternoon shift and uh, from 3.30 to 12 on the M96. And I usually play to a full house and my show starts around Central Park West. Remember, you paid $1.50 for this club, which seats 40 people and we serve no drinks. Although some people carry their own. All right, should I do that? that that was, I like that cover show. Cover. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's do that again. And then you're going to say, I like to play to a full house. And that starts around Central Park West. Say, okay. is there any cover charge? You said, a Metro card. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Everybody wants to know, where are you appearing? You want me to repeat what I said before? Yeah, let's do the same thing. Yeah, we're doing it again. Okay. But at the end, you're going to say, I like to play to a full house. Okay. And this curtain goes up at Central Park West. And I'll say, what's the cover charge? And you're going to say, yeah. Metro card, $1.50. Okay. Three, two, one. Everybody wants to know, Tony, where are you appearing? I like to work the afternoon shift from 3.30 to 12. I'm on the M96, and my show starts around Central Park West. And I like to play to a full house. What's the cover charge? Only a Metro card, $1.50. Okay. Do we do it again? Three. Sorry. You put me right in front of the sun. You're the okay. star. In front of the sun. Okay. Three, two, one. Tony, everybody's going to want to know, where are you appearing? Well, I like to work the afternoon shift from 3.30 to 12. I'm presently on the M96. My show starts around Central Park West when I'm ready to cross the park. And I play to a full house. What's the cover charge? Only a Metro card, $1.50. That's all you need for my show, $1.50. Okay, that's good. Uh...